I talk quite a bit about paying attention in the grocery store. Last night I was at Albertsons and back in a section where there's usually seafood, they had chicken. There was about 10 packages of chicken in there. I thought, that's kind of weird, so I went over and checked it out. And look at what I got. Check this out. Uh, Hand-trimmed chicken breasts. There's 2.62 pounds in here. It says uh, total price $15.69. Savings ten dollars and forty eight cents. You pay five dollars and twenty one cents. So for the price of a uh, Popeye sandwich, I got enough chicken here to feed six people or more. You got to pay attention in the grocery store. Look for things that seem out of. There weren't any signs. There was nothing that said, "Hey, great deal on chicken." It was just you know a dozen packages of them sitting there. So what are we going to do with this? When I started doing these videos, one of the goals was to keep it simple, basic tools basic ingredients, and then a number of people said, hey, listen, I've got an Instapot, and I love it. Why don't you do some things for the Instapot? Well, right now, because of COVID and the uh, PUA unemployment claims, I've got more money than cents. So there it is. So I, uh, I boiled some water in it last night, and I skimmed the instructions. You know, we don't really need those. I mean, what could go wrong, right? So let's do chicken in the Instapot. So I'm curious about two things with the Instapot. First, will it really cook a big chicken breast like this in under 10 minutes? Now reading the instructions, it kind of ranged from five minutes if you saute it first out to 15 minutes if it's frozen. I'm gonna split the difference and go with nine minutes. I'm also wondering if you put a marinade in there, will that infuse into the meat? So what I'm gonna do, it calls in the instructions to put in a cup of water or a cup of chicken broth. I'm going to put in a half cup of water and a half cup of a, where'd it go? Here we are, half cup of a Jamaican jerk marinade. I want to see if it'll, if it'll absorb into the uh, meat. I'm also curious about vegetables, so I'm going to throw a potato in with it, and I get it, you know, if this works, the potato will taste like jerk also, but it'll tell me whether or not it can cook a potato in that period of time. So let's go ahead and get this thing fired up and see what we can make. Okay, I've added a half a cup of water and a half a cup of the Jamaican jerk in there. I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I'm sure I have. This stuff tastes great and it smells disgusting. Oh, I tell you, it's just, oh, man. But it tastes really good. So in goes our chicken. I cut up a red potato. I'm a huge fan of reds. First off, you don't, you don't have to peel them. Uh, secondly, they taste great. And let's get this thing in motion. Lid goes on. There's a gasket in here that seals it. Okay, comes up as off. We're going to tell it to pressure cook. Nine minutes. It must have known I was coming. Oops, we got nine minutes just like magic. We're all sealed up. Uh, it will think about it for a few seconds here and then start. It's on. Now what's going to happen next, it's going to take it a couple minutes to preheat and then it'll start to actually cook uh, and it'll count down and shut itself off. Now we can stand here together and watch this for the next 10 or 12 minutes or how about if I come back when it's done? Okay, the little gizmo popped up about a minute ago so it's under pressure. The timer just now started. I think I'm going to go into the other room just in case it explodes. I'll be back. Hey kids, anybody home? Hello in there. Okay, the timer just counted down to zero. Since I don't know what it's going to do next, I'm going to have Bob help me out. You all know about Bob, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, first we're going to turn it off. There we go, off. Next, we got to release the steam.
Wow, that smells pretty good. Okay, I think we're done. Yep, lid didn't fly across the room, so I think we're safe. Okay, and I hope we didn't miss anything. That camera quit recording. It only goes to 29 minutes and 59 seconds, and it stopped. So uh, we restarted that. We've got the chicken out here on the cutting board. And uh, again, I scrubbed the cutting board good, and I flipped it over using the other side of it, so I'm not going to poison myself. And look at this chicken. The um, seasoning in the jerk painted itself onto the chicken. How about that? So let's see if it's done. Go right down through the middle here. You know what? That looks pretty good. It's still really moist. It's not pink at all. Really tender. Cuts well. The jerk definitely made its way into the chicken. Tastes really good. Potato? Oh yeah, look at that. So nine minutes plus you know it takes a while for it to warm up it takes a while for the timer to kick in but uh, essentially nine minutes of just not paying any attention to it and it came out pretty good I think I'm gonna have some fun with this watch for more videos about this thing if you if you like this if you like this like subscribe share the only way I'm gonna get rich and famous on YouTube is if you share these things so other people see them thanks for watching we'll see you again soon Peace.